you will read things like Reverend George, he ain't nothing but an agitator. What was happening at Cornell was happening in a vacuum. It was the backwater of the Civil Rights Movement. It still doesn't have its place in history, and I don't suppose it ever will. There was uh, Cornell with a kind of a beacon light for people who believed in racial equality. There's a simple farm in South Georgia where racism and religion once collided. How ironic that this place that embraces love, tolerance, and sharing could also be a place that has spawned fear, hatred, and violence. You may have never heard the name, but this mostly unknown place has a significance that stretches around the globe and across time. I'm Andrew Young. When I first heard of Koinonia Farm, I was a pastor in South Georgia, immersed in the civil rights movement. Koinonia was a place where even some civil rights workers were afraid to go. It was so controversial that I never visited. Why? Simply because it was a place where blacks and whites were living and working together as equals. That may seem innocent in the 21st century, but for much of the 20th century, race integration was not only socially taboo, it was often against the law. Those who advocated integration literally placed their lives in danger. This is the story of Koinonia Farm, a story that begins with a gentle activist named Clarence Jordan. 